Well, hey, hey, we're back, baby. We're back, back on the greenstone. So, phase two is this. We're going to clad, um, join on what we did last time. Uh, it was this section, and uh, probably ground heights about there, all the way down uh, just to that corner, all the way along there we did. And obviously, this is like the only bit that was sided. So obviously, I left it like this last time for this purpose. So yeah, this time we are cladding onto this block wall. Morning, Cam Cam. How are we doing? Um, yeah, cladding onto this wall. It's already prepped. It's going to be this. This is the width. So it's nice and simple. Got a block there because uh, I think it's going to be underground from that point, basically. So all the ties are in. Got this coil ties stuff. Works quite well. But yeah, loads of it as well. It's everywhere. But yeah, so we're going to clad onto. Obviously, what I've done there, all the way along, just to this block height for the minute. Um, the tops haven't been decided, but obviously it's going to be a mixture of this one because this one had to be greenstone as well as the other side, whereas this one is just a use-up job of all that stone there, basically. So, yeah, clad onto all this to this corner. We're going to curve it, curve it round all the way down here. Through. Do, do, do. onto this curve and then uh, yeah it's going to continue up there where cam is stood now is going to be steps going into the ground because i think this is all going to be grass and then yeah the wall's going to carry on and then we're going to bring it around all the way to the front of the property so yeah but for a minute we're just going to concentrate on this bit up to the steps that's all right like i say if you look over there where cam is you're just in the right places today. Um, that's a mix of stone that. So we've got blue lias, everything. There's forest marble, just everything basically. Bit of greenstone. And then that little pole there is new greenstone. So it's lovely stuff, proper. Just housing stone, if you know what I mean. Just beautiful for cladding basically. Already just like bricks. So uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go for a mixed pattern um, using all the stone. So yeah, no, it's all good. Got a few mixes on. The mix we're doing on this one is uh, just our normal lime mix. It's uh, two grit sand, one building sand, one lime, 3.5 NHL hydraulic. And uh, yeah, so that's sort of what we're trying to achieve. Um, yeah, I'd like say that was tight, this job. I don't know if anyone saw the video like, but it was literally, we had limited stone, but it worked out well, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's a good chunk, didn't really, uh, didn't notice it when you're doing it, but obviously because the scaff's been moved up, you can see it now, but yeah, so it's all fun and games. So today we're just gonna, well, try and get to this corner, a couple of courses, because we are waiting, um, it's like a Cotswold stone. It's like a light sort of clay colored stone to come. And what we want to do is make sure we've got a nice mix match pattern using all the stones evenly through the wall. So I'm not gonna go too high for the minute. I'm just going to go probably just above them wheat poles, basically, all the way along to start off with, because we've only got two out of the three stone. But yeah, so we're just going to spend the morning, as Cam's doing, just uh, loading out to get a load of stone down here, get a few mixes on. We'll try and use up some big, ugly ones in the bottom. Righty, anyway, first job, going to brush all the, call it a footing, brush all the footing off, get it nice and clean and flat. I've got a, got a nice barrel of muck lovely lovely all right anyway let's uh yeah let's crack on with a base and uh yeah try and get down to there lovely jubbly let's crack on baby boom snap building
we are getting there. So I've got a base course along there. I'm just uh, trying to get it roughly the same height. Um, it doesn't have to be precise at the minute. I've got sections which are dead flat, so that's the main thing. It dips down there, but um, just don't want to get too many of them really. Stackers, sort of similar stones on top of each other. But yeah, it goes all the way along. And uh, I've got a curving, which has all been uh, signed off basically. So what I've done with this curve basically is I've measured from this stone to the block wall. Um, that was 79 um, and done the same basically measured off there, put a stone here. So that's 79. And then basically um, just to get my middle stone, <coughs> I've just measured off this point at 39 and a half because if my math's right, that's half of 79. Um, to obviously this point. So it worked out obviously about there. Then I measured from this point, exactly the same again, 39.5 centimeters. And then basically put my stone in the middle of that, just so I've got a middle point basically. So from that to that is exactly the same. See if proof is in the pudding. So let's just go roughly, like I say. So there you go, look, 39 and a half, just to the left of the foot there. And then same again there. 39 and a half. It's just rough, like I say, it doesn't have to be totally spot on. It just gives you that nice curve, as you can see. This bit's gonna be underground, um, but it's just, it wasn't, it's not sticking out from the foundations a lot, because we've obviously got this block down, but it's just cause it lips over, I've just put a stone, because like I say, it will be underground. This ground level is uh, coming up to this height. So if you think really, you know, I've got 24 centimeters there, Come the, which basically relates to over here, that course there. So really, not, not even half of that stone is going to be showing. So obviously that's going to be underground. It just gives it a bit more support. Better to be safe than sorry. So I've just put a massive, because obviously it's a 90 degree angle there, obviously on the block foundation. I've just put a stone, which obviously had a perfect buff in there. And it's nice and big, obviously put a nice bed of lime down. And yeah, so now we're all right, like I say, we're just gonna continue this same again to about there for today. That's as far as we're gonna go on the base. And then we're just gonna work back. I think I'm gonna get Cam on this actually. Cam can continue with this and then uh, I'm gonna continue down here. And just, yeah, basically start stepping it back and working. It's all good. It's quite a hard curve, but it's got like a nice softness to it, so. It's what we want. No, it's all good. Good little thing with curves as well, is don't use too big stones. Um, but yeah, like I say, so I've kept them all the exact same height. It's all level across, basically, from that stone to that stone's dead level. So we're all good. Just so it makes it easier. If you keep it level on the curve, it's so much easier to do. Get a bit of height on her, she'll be good. She will be good. Absolutely beautiful day. Once again, got a sun right in our face. But it's nice keeping us warm. Sweating today, aren't we, Cam? But yeah, they're lovely. Keeping the old muck nice and wet. Not too wet, but uh, workable, should we call it? That's the word, isn't it? What's it? Tapability. Tapability, flexibility, loveability. But no, we are doing good, like I say. Continue up to there, get another couple of courses on. But righty, anyway, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Lovely cup of tea. And yeah, oh, train, um, the plan has changed with the stone as well. We are not getting, um, I thought it was going to be Cotswold stone, but it's not. It was actually going to be hand stone, which is a exact same color, basically, as Cotswold. Not as, not as light as Cotswold, but it's just basically exactly like the new green stone stuff like that. But orange, basically, is the best color. What color would you describe hand stone? Buff. buff. Like a buff orange, yeah. So in this wall, really, like I say, the old stone, that's green stone. It's just older. So I think putting orange in here, I've actually got a stone down here, which is orange. So it's a dirty orange, but it's, it would be a lot brighter than that, basically. But I just think the odd, the odd one, like, you know, imagine this new green stone. Imagine that orange in the wall. I don't really know personally. It's not my cup of tea, but um, yeah. So anyway, we uh, had a discussion this morning and like I say, we are not going for that anymore. The uh, project manager's just gonna get more of that basically, because we have got a huge pile over there of uh, the older stuff. But 
that's good for us because we can, you know, we don't have to worry about it too much if we started putting the hamstone in there because it's so bright you have to really think about the placement but then because you want to keep it like a looking like an old wall we, you know you don't want to be putting them every like you know every meter along the wall because it'll just be too perfect but yeah just a little bit less to think about basically so that's good we don't have to do it anyway have a cup of tea i'd say get some height on this now i know yeah actually starting to form i to say got that curve in and uh yeah Beautiful. Righty, let's crack on and see what this afternoon brings. And just like that, another day done. Lovely jubbly, not bad actually, not bad at all. About a third of the wall, so that's good. Like I say, we have got some nice big chunky ones, but we've pointed it all up. Lovely jubbly, so I'm just starting to get my lines now, so all that's level tomorrow morning. Little dip there, I need to get level, but that's all level, so lovely. It's just a lot easier to work when you've got a nice flat course. Looks better as well. But yeah, no, we're doing all right. I'd say just tying into this old wall. So that one's going off all right. Beautiful, really lovely color actually. Absolutely love it. Yeah, no, goes really well with the greenstone. No, we're doing good. Like I say, it's down to the curve. So tomorrow's just gonna be same again, really. I'm gonna concentrate on this corner, really. Um, I might go a bit further that way, but I'm just gonna really concentrate on getting, stepping back from the curve, getting that up, or just to a flat height of that block. Um, tops haven't been decided yet, but I presume they're just going to go for like an Indian sandstone. But no, this curve looks all right. Like I say, just doing what I did earlier with the measurements and that, you can just keep checking it as well. Nice and straight. But yeah, no, not, not a bad first day. Let's have a quick look up here. Like I say, we're just really mixing the stone. Got the uh, the old green stone and the new stuff. Can you come over here? Do, do, do. Had a nice delivery earlier. Like I say, yeah, old, new. It's nice. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Everyone in the house, give me a. Yeah, look, lovely. Literally like laying bricks. So what we're gonna actually have to do with them because they're quite nice. They're a bit too nice, really. Um, just knock the edges off. <laughs> just basically make them a bit less brick-like. But building a wall out of this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Righty, there's the curve. 
It's a nice little curve like that. Boom, absolutely love it. Nice and straight there. Spot on, that's what we want. So yeah, lovely, a lovely productive day. Rock on tomorrow and uh, yeah, let's get this baby up. Have a good old brush up tomorrow as well. That's how we're all pointed. It's nice to work like that. Always, always like to point as you go, basically. It just makes it so much stronger. The only time we won't point is if, uh, you know, it's Friday, basically, and we're not going in the next day if we're not in on the Saturday or Sunday or whatever. Um, any more than one day, 24 hours, basically. If we do, we, what we do is just build it and rake it back. So just don't point it, basically. Just like these perps there. Just push them in, leave them so you've got, you know, at least sort of 30 mil, do you know what I mean? Three centimetres depth, like, cause, especially with lime, like, because it's still quite damp anyway. When you come to the Monday, it's easy pointing, like, but if it was cement, it'd be a bit different. Alrighty. Anyway, we're going to cover her up, put the Hessian on her, dampen the Hessian down, and yeah, crack on home. Lovely jobbly. Thank you for watching, over and out, and uh, I'll see you in a bit.